So I just uploaded a new file in Portuguese in WordFast Anywhere. And I see here that the TM it got connected to is not the correct language pair. It's actually English to French. But this is not an error. It's because WordFast Anywhere remembers the last TM config you were using and applies it to a newly uploaded document. If you want to change the working languages for this document, this is actually very easy. First, you need to open your document. So it, it has to be selected in blue and then you double click on it and it will open. Here we see it's still in English to French, even if the document is in Portuguese. And to change that, the next step is to go to the TM and Glossaries tab and click on Setup. So you need to click here then on Setup. And this will open this dialog. And I want to focus on the left part here, Translation Memories. So you see that the TM that's connected at the moment is in English to French, but I want to translate this file from Portuguese to French. To do this, first I need to create a new TM. So I want to click here on the Create button. And here I want to set my languages. So that's going to be source language Portuguese, like we said, and I want a target language uh, being French. And now I can assign it a name. Once that's done, I can click on save. And now I see here my new TM appears. So what I need to do next is I need to disconnect from the document, the English to French TM by unticking it in the active column. And now I want to click active my Portuguese uh, TM but I get an error message. That's because I have still two other glossaries in other languages uh, connected. So I untick them and now I can go back to my Portuguese to French TM and tick it active. Now, once that's done, as I can see here, I can click on save. And now if you look at the top here, you see that now I am working in Portuguese to French. My languages have changed. So remember, in WordFast Anywhere, your working languages are defined by the active TM. So make sure you have selected the right one and that your connected glossaries are also in the same language pair and you'll be good to go. If you enjoyed this video, please leave me a like and subscribe to make sure you don't miss the next one. And I'll be talking to you in the next one. Bye-bye.